What the fuck were you doing in that new beta squad IG post? Can someone link it? What was the post? Hold on, before we get back to the video, what was the post? Oh, this dancing shit. I just, I didn't see this yet. Hold on. I don't, I don't like dancing. I just didn't want to do it, so I just bought my head. So like they said, they said, okay, this is the TikTok we're gonna do, right? And then who was it? I think it was Nico. Nico was like, oh, did we even ask them if they want to do it? And I was like, good point. Because <laughs> as a who, uh, who's afraid to dance, that's a very good point. <laughs> Wait, okay, back to the video. Guess the singer featuring Bruno. Every part, I get to see everyone walk out, get some first impressions. And the first thing I spotted was the man on the end in the suit. Is it me or does he look a bit like Philly? I, I see it. Live I think life, I already know I who am. Who is what the fuck? Oh, get I, don't I, don't have to, I don't have to live life by fucking dancing, buddy. That's how you do it, okay? I live life by doing simple shit, like beating niggas ass in Mortal Kombat or driving with my windows down. <laughs> <laughs> We're a team, you know? I thought you know what's up. Yeah, the ops. Obviously, the guy wearing the suit is here to throw us off. <laughs> yeah. Nah, her, I think she's the real singer. You based off what? Just eyeing it. Introduce yourself from number one. I'm Owen, and my alias is Half Tracks. It's got merch. I'm 25 and I'm from Luton. There's no way he's the singer. <laughs> <laughs> he knew what he was doing coming out in that merch, you know? My brother. I respect it still, I would have done the same. All right, number two. Yeah, My name is Marcus, I'm from Scotland. I'm 24 and I'm a classical singer. All right, Marcus, classical singer from Scotland. I'm, I'm expecting to hear some, some ah and ah. Oh. All them high notes with the riff, riff raffings. Number three. My name's Luca Zaccotti, 24, Afrobeats artist from Manchester. Afrobeats! Afro no! <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, yo, from where? Hey, but anything is possible in 2023, man. Nigga told Burner Boy that too, straight to his fucking face too, man. man. <laughs> he was a pool. Nigga told what Burner Boy that like, straight what, what, what to his I? face. I get uh, compared to be young a lot. What about Burner Boy? Does anyone compare you to him? Yeah. That's not possible. Oh. That's not possible. <laughs> 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 I could, number four. My name is Evelina, I'm 22. I'm from South East London and I'm a recording artist and I do mainly dance, pop and R&B. She's kind of believable. Yeah. Who do you like on the R&B scene? I actually really like people like Keisha Cole, Ooh. Mary J Blige. Yeah, she's serious. Yeah. Number five. I'm Henny and I'm from from Melbourne, Australia, and I'm a singer, R&B singer. Can't lie, I got a connection to number five already, man. Melbourne, one of my favorite cities in the world. I love that place. Good day, mate. I'm telling you, this man, <laughs> number six, the suavest of the ball. Talk to me, please, brother. Hi, I'm D. Alex. I'm 47. I'm a singer, and I do pretty good. <laughs> don't even believe it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I swear to God. Oh, yeah. I don't believe he sings. What type? What type? All types, brother. <laughs> <laughs> number six, don't think I don't see right through you your Frozone secret identity, and that right there is a disguise. We'll start from him, man. Half tracks. Sounds more like a producer. Ooh. Oh, that's a good point. What do you say you do, like R&B and that? I'm a hip hop artist. I switch between sung and rap. I'm like Loyal Kana, oh, people Loyal like Kana. that. Yeah, yeah, that sort of vibe. Why do you look so sad, number three? I'm chilling, bro. Number three looked like his dog just died. He was absolutely devastated, which confused me because he's right in front of an Afrobeats legend. Myself. And he's sad. I feel like if you're in Afrobeat, like if that's what you do, you should be able to name like half this nigga's catalog. Feel me? That'd be like if you was in rap and you couldn't name like 20 Drake songs. They should just quiz this nigga on some shit. He's got to turn that frown upside down, mate. Number three, since we're on you, what's the best lyric you've ever wrote? Ooh. That's a good question. Best me. lyric I've ever wrote. 20, 20 sound yeah, a lot, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Glazing Drake again. I, I'm sorry, I can't say nothing positive about Drake, otherwise it's glaze. Like, what do you want me to do, bro? Like, I just I just had to say nothing but negative things for, for someone I think is fire? What the fuck? Of course this guy says Drake. Because I'm familiar with rap, you dumb nigga. Like, you mean to say EDM? I don't know EDM like that. I don't know EDM, bro. I feel like if you ask a songwriter that, because I write my own songs, so. Oh, and you can't think of one lyric? What's, what's, what's a lyric? Do you know what? My favorite one, my most recent one is, I think it's Yoruba. It's Tobawa Mumagbe Afik Bai for your case, you know? You understand that? Say it again, please. Tobawa mumagbe afik buy for your case, yena. If you come, I'll carry. I can die for your case. How does all that story? I'll carry. What are you carrying? What are you carrying? Someone stitched me up there. Yeah, someone is Danny, bro. Due to insufficient discoveries, we have decided that no one will be going out in this round, and next round we'll be taking out dos. What? Personas. Now we'll move on to round two, where each of these artists are gonna sing a little song for us. Moment of truth. Who's got the vocals on them? I feel like there'll be one or two that'll be dead and the rest are gonna be lit. Starting with you, number one. Show us what you got. 
Oh, she moved like a million. Yeah, man, she blending in. I can't see her through her skin because she moved like a million. She blending in. Oh, she moved like a million. Yeah, man, she blending in. Blending it, I blend it up. I've grabbed the grub, I hit the pub, I slip the scrub into the the shrub, my skin is grey, no rubber dub, bubba shrimp, I'm not a simp, I've got a limp, I'm, all, I'm not a pimp. Yeah, I'm like a fat when the back's just blimpy. Move like a maniac. <laughs> man, chat to me, man. There's a lot of artists he's better than, right, man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. Classic, right? I can do French, Italian, English. Here's the thing, chat. It could be a bamboozle. The nigga could actually be a singer rapper and just fucking sucks, right? Like, like I could actually be a streamer and just fucking suck. So like I can tell niggas I'm a streamer and just be a bad streamer too. So don't fall for the trick, bro. Don't just cause he's ass doesn't mean he might still be a rapper. Dash. All of them in one. All of them in one. Do English. English, yeah, sure, sure, sure. If you will be my love. Damn. <laughs> okay, he's like that. He's I like wasn't that. expecting them He's pipes. Like Pavarotti, yeah, very good singer. He must be professional. Can you do that French good, then? I'll do Italian for you guys. That's a love language. Oh, oh my God, he's unbelievable. Yeah. How you doing? Are you guys taking a, uh, are you guys taking a, except the new members and shit? I heard the news and stuff. Asking for a friend. Hopefully you're swell. Hopefully you're swell. W10 gifts. Well, there's no W emote, so you gotta figure. Whose W emote is that? See, I don't even want to snitch. Cause they took mine away. I don't even want to snitch. That's insane, bro. That's actually insane. Could you do subscribe to Beta Squad, <gasps> but oh, yeah, in yeah, a yeah, crazy yeah, way? Yeah, yeah, oh my yeah, God! Yeah, yes. Yeah, subscribe to Beta. Task one. <laughs> that might just be the greatest subscriber push I've ever seen in my life. If everyone doesn't subscribe to Beta Squad right now after seeing that, then you are a despicable terrorist. You are staying for a long time. <laughs> seeing that? then you are a despicable terrorist. You are staying for a long time, my friend. Go back out there. Oh, I like you. See, as he's singing, you see everyone else look at each other in the back. Because <laughs> <laughs> they know they're in trouble. Nah, that's boring, my mom. Oh, Taylor with a 10. I guess, we, I guess we just have to put like text in that bitch, huh? We just gotta use text. Yo, Taylor got hard. What? Like you got hard? Thank you for the 10 gifted, I appreciate that. Oh, we still got the gift emote. What the fuck? Yo, we can just use the gift emote. I forgot about that. True. Thank you for the 10. Appreciate you. Appreciate Mine, you. bro. Now you, it's your turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell her, baby, mm, don't stop. The way she do that thing make me mad at all. I tell her, baby, come back up. Ooh. Do that thing make me mad at all. I see not regular, spin my medulla. So I tell her, baby, come back up. I tell her, baby, come back up, back up, back up. And if your love is a crime, then I must be a criminal. Then I must be, then I must be. Oh, hey. I'm not saying. Hold on, she don't sound too bad, yo, Strata. Even in five years, brother. Thank you for fucking the sun, Strzok. You booty sick in Hawaiian. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate you, man. W Strzok in the chat. Love, bro. Good fucking guy, man. Hey, that nigga didn't sound too bad, chat. Put a beat behind him. Get a little vibe going. Get some ass shaking and shit. But you could, you know what I'm saying? Vanilla Afro beats. I guess. Like, a black nigga can make country music, so. Right? So, like, you know. Hi. Number three sounded good. I mean, I didn't understand what you were saying. But then again, I never understand what Burner Boy is saying in half his songs, but I, I like his music. <laughs> Number four. Here we go. When I think I'm healing my scores, I see. Black people invented country? What the fuck? EDM. That's some white shit, right? Okay, how about EDM? <laughs> <laughs> Did a black nigga invent EDM?
What the fuck? Nigga, all my monitors just went black. Yes. EDM took the world by storm in the 80s. The genre's actually born in the 60s. EDM came to life when Delilah Derbyshire, arguably the first EDM producer. This the nigga from... Ain't that the nigga from Stranger Things? Are we sure? The ghost of you from my past Remember how you dropped me I shattered and broke like glass Can't escape the memories Shivers run down my spine Trying to forget but you won't let me Cause you're still haunting me Every night Woo! Every night Every night How did you know that was coming? I know music man I mean, like, yeah, you know, you still got that. That one's mental, uh, Preston. That uh, one's uh, mental. Yeah. Good vibes. Number four. Yo, just because someone can sing or oh, rap doesn't like mean they're a singer man. or a rapper. You got gotta ask about their career. Yeah. This was Banner's pick, to be honest. So not a first time touching Mike. Yeah, she knows she's doing. I went in for your text, no, no. Don't you expect another die for me, uh, uh. Now you calling on my phone, but you missing what you playing games are finally moving on. Unless you prove that I got nothing to lose. Say, Miss. You're real, you're a superhero. Brother Bernard, this is for you. This nigga bullshitting. Thank you. This nigga's bullshitting. Okay, that right. nigga's bullshitting. <laughs> was, was that hey. good? Give us some more. So, something more, something more, something different. <laughs> Let's do this one. Mary had a little lamb, yeah. little good lamb. Good day. Yeah, Mary's got a copyright. <laughs> He's unique, I told you. Would you get him on one of your tracks? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> the man is unique, man, if you think about it, man. Everybody wants to be different in some way, you know? That's his way. Respect you, number six. You come here to get your paycheck. He went on the mic, went, ah, and then moved back. Yeah, cold, cold. You played us out. You played us at our own game. <laughs> round of applause. Thank you, man. Round of applause. Round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna just have a conversation. Nigga said, Unk didn't take his meds. <laughs> Then we'll try to vote two people out, yeah? yeah. Number six yeah, needs to get that out. I kind of like that you did that, yeah? Because it helps us. We know for certain it's not bro, bro. We just need to pick one more. What if it really is him? And then at the end, he comes in and does the mad one. That could be a mad plot twist. Brother B, you're right what you're saying about me. If he's right, come and do a proper performance. Right? I'll drop it later. Let's yeah. let them play. <laughs> That's how I know yeah, we're not <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what was your name again? D. Alex. Hey, right, we like you. You're good. You're, you're, you're a laugh. All right, AJ. Oh, yeah, um, I'm triangle today. Hello, everyone. It's either one or three. I'm going to go three. And six, right? Because you've got yeah, two. Yeah, three and six. Three and six. I'm going to go six, Afro obviously. Beat, and four. I'm sorry. I feel like you write songs for fun, but I don't know if you do it professionally. I don't know. I just feel like she writes music in her bedroom, but that's about it. I don't think she does it professionally. Okay, hey, Ben. Um, six out of four. Ooh. See, we know, we both know. I think I'm gonna vote at number six and number one. I think half tracks is gonna come with some merch and some junk things. I wanna see how he what well, he's got. Yeah. Same. I'm the same, yeah, I'm similar. That's just my vote. You guys can vote different, but I'm gonna say number one and six for now. Such a shame. <laughs> you, you, had, you had talent, you had talent. I'm gonna vote for one of my favorite songs of all time. Six and four, 64 Zoo Lane. 64, 64, 64 Zoo Lane. That's literally the only reason I voted for both of them. But what a song. Real ones remember. I would have voted for six and one, but six and four is out, bro. Yeah, it makes no difference. So six and four, you're out. Thank you very much. Number four and six. Man. Peace, love. Thank you, guys. Now, if four is an actual singer, she's going to be gut, like it's gut wrenching. Because the reason they packed her up is because they just didn't think she was good. Like the six is just trolling, right? But she actually sang and they were like, mm, she might be a singer, but she's not a professional singer. <laughs> that guy, that's gonna hurt, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm Told you, lie. number six is a joke, man. And he's trying to say, keep me in and I was singing like, you're not seeing another second on this game. Get out. All right, round three, it's question time. AJ, you got a question? My question is, what software does everyone record on? So usually I use Fruity Loops when I go to the studio. It's either Ableton or Cubase. He knows a lot of stuff. I actually don't use software in the classical singing world. We'll go to specific professional recording studios, dot about Europe and record albums that way. Brother, what do you record on? Yeah. I work closely with my producer, but. Yes, what the fuck? 
So what, they recorded on a fucking tape or some shit? Like, you need a software to pick up, like, you don't have to, like, you don't, like, what are you recorded on? A physical device? If it's not, you need one of these, brother. You need something to record it, right? Am I bugging? If you want to sell it digitally, he said a professional studio. Oh, what? Hold on. How to record classical music. You're in studios, bro. I have never been is one with the mics further out more than I did. No, but I'm A saying simple, though, these, no these, all these mics are going to pick up the sounds and send it where? On a physical device? To a mixer. The mixer doesn't store it. You can make adjustments. You can use compressors and stuff on a mixer to the software. That's what I'm saying. An audio interface. The audio interface, does it go to the SD card connected to the audio? It has to be saved somewhere, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. Where does it get saved if it's not a software? A physical device. So what's the physical device? I, I could, like, I'm asking. It's a question. A floppy disk. Okay, I'm asking the wrong people, I realize. <laughs> I believe logic. <laughs> Last but not least. I use logic as well, but I have trust in all my producers, so I just let them do their thing in it. Number three, why Afrobeats? So it wasn't like my VHS first choice, game. like I was pop okay. R&B, and then I met my producer. He's just a nigga singing. I don't care, you should know. I, I don't have to be an editor. I could just be the nigga on camera, but I would know my editors use Adobe Premiere or Sony Vegas. Like, I would know that. If I'm a pro, if I'm a professional. So who's Nigerian and he was That's like, yeah, fishy, you know what, bro. Afro beats, That's I reckon you sound cold on that. And what's the reception you, you get when you make Afro beats music? Luckily, not that bad. Have you traveled to like Africa? Nah, so we're hoping this year, if not January, February, Nigeria, yeah. You're an Afro beats singer, you've never been to Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> what's everyone's biggest song? Like most streams. Yo, Mine's a song called Morning Nigeria. Coffee. And how many streams? <laughs> it's sat on 700,000 at the moment. Go on, give me a rendition of Morning Coffee quick. I want a coffee, wake up, put in the toffee. Siggy's got me coffee, but I'm trying to win the lottery. She liked the cocky, I mean, she likes it. When I'm cocky, I get it all mixed up. So let's switch it up a lot, G. All right, cool, now I'll just, I'll just see yeah, if it was a real song. Is, bro. Me, actually, it would be an entire operatic role and then a piece of music within that role. How many streams? Like 17 billion. Oh my god, I mean classical music isn't really that mainstream. It's probably the most famous one that everyone knows because Pavarotti sung it at the World Cup and that was Nessun Dorma. How many streams is the most? Oh, Pavarotti's a couple million. Couple million. And now I'm starting to think he might just be a crazed fan. No, 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 he's too gifted, bro. No, he's incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get twisted, he's incredible. He makes appearances at the opera clubs. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. It might not be a main thing for him. I'll be honest, he's just, he's, he's doing too much explaining. He's not really like, showing off like what well, to be fair he is but i think he's doing too much he's overselling what most streamed quarter of a million want to release like three four months ago what's it called what's it's called it? madder it's cool Eight hundred and fifty thousand. and what's the song night and day can we hear 12 seconds of night and day oh baby okay on lately, demand. okay no you got me going crazy in my head. Okay, now I'm confused. Okay. What venues have you I guys played? Yeah, Literally this valid. weekend, I was on the BBC One Extra stage at Reading. I've uh, performed at the Royal Albert Hall, uh, Carnegie Hall in New York, Ooh. and hopefully in the future, Sydney Opera House. Sydney that's Opera House. Cool. Those are the Holy Trinities. They all sound legit right now. Yeah, that's do, a, good, that's do, a big do. compliment. All right, go on then. A couple of weeks ago, Manchester Carnival main stage came on just before Style OG. It was crazy. Well, let me look in, let me see them eyes <laughs> and say what you said again. Performed a couple months ago, Manchester Carnival. Oh! He said well, couple months ago. Yeah. Right, number three is having a stinker. Doesn't even know his dates. I'm just seeing him messing up with Hacking the numbers. The well, I maybe even heard wrong, but I think he said two months and then two weeks. Something like that anyway. When exactly did you perform? I performed two of my singles. No, no, when? What date? What date? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But to be fair, I'm not gonna lie, recalling exact dates is kind of hard, right? I'm not, I'm not bugging, like, the exact date? Like, I don't know when the exact date I played Mortal Kombat last. What day is it today? Nigga, I, I have no idea. 
<laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, if you're in school or work and your job requires you to know the date every single day, that's one thing. But I'm telling you, if you're not if you're if you're not signing dates all the time or looking at clocks and dates, you don't, sometimes you don't know what I don't. Oh God, it's some it's in the middle. I'm in the middle of September. I, I could check right now. It's probably September twenty second, twenty third. Is it Terry Fox Day? Is it not on September 23rd? Am I bugging? Oh no, that's not. Okay, thank God. Um, okay. <clears throat> Alright, we good. I panicked. Bruce's birthday? I know. I wish that nigga happy birthday. Ooh, that mustache, man. He's getting old, too. Yo, in, in like one year, that nigga Bruce is not going to be able to say niggas is old no more because then he's going to be 24. <laughs> ah, buddy. I'm, ex I'm excited, man. I'm excited. One month. You don't even know what month? Oh, August. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> You're going to be 30. No, I'm not. Oh, look, 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 look. He's, he's gone. He's gone. Get life, him gone. Mommy. Get him gone. Ah! Month, you don't even know what month? Oh, August. Oh, wait, wait, please. He's gone, he's gone. Get him gone, get him gone. Yeah. Come on, guys. Bro, come out there, bro. Bro, go home. We got him, we got him, we got him. This guy's a donut, bro. You're done out here, bro. You're done out here. Don't even say nothing no more. You know what? Nah, nah, don't say nothing no more. Number three, we got you. You fumbled, you fumbled, you have tweets. I guess I was right from the beginning for suspecting his Afro beaters. Guys, 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 calm down, all right? Let him explain himself. Uh, I don't want to hear it, man. <laughs> you really were going to say some sh like... The thing is, I think we should try and give it going, then, brother. No, no. Ah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> You made me believe you! Yeah, man. Ah. Omo da Timu. You got your brother. Can't escape anywhere. English, Yoruba, you're done. You've done well to blag it this far, you know. Fair play. I'm, I'm telling you now, I'm not blagging, but proceed. So I'm from Melbourne, so you probably don't know. We know. No, 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 we've been, we've been to Australia. So I've performed at Laundry, Love Machine, so like Caramel. Caramel! You've been there, big up Melbourne, big up Melbourne. When did you perform in Caramel? About two months ago. And and you said you said you do laundry. I basically needed help with washing my clothes. What happens when I put my whites with my coloured clothes? I can't mix it up, can I? I can help you. Please, thank you. That would be great, thanks. You like that one? What? I mean, Wait, when did she say laundry? Am I brain dead? I don't remember that. Many songs have you put out? Three. When did you put out your first song? Last year, probably like Laundry October. Riz. When did you drop the second song? The second one after that was probably about three months. And then the third one was when? Third one, four. So when did you start I doing shows? Too. Recently, I've only been doing shows for like the last two years. Like after I finished high school is when I properly started to pursue music. Wait, but Wait, show, shows for two years? Oh, but your you first song was August. He's a detective. In your first show, what did you perform? I was just doing gigs, covers. Lies! Are you professional? Good catch! Or are you up and coming? How did Free just catch life like that? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a booking agent and stuff? So I'm signed. What label? 23 Formation. They're not a major, but yeah, I got signed in January. Number one, you signed? Fully independent. Uh, I do my own events, everything. Yeah, so how'd you go about that? So contacting the venue, uh, I'll put together a supporting lineup as well of local artists to bring in, you know, more people to the event and things like that from local. And then usually have myself either as a sub headliner, joint headliner, and uh, run my merch this is there. What's the largest crowd you've got? June, we... This is hard. You know why? Because this nigga suck. So he could be a pro, but he's fucking dog shit, right? This nigga could potentially... He's good, but he might just be part-time. Because he said, like, classical music is not as mainstream. For it to be professional, like, it has to be your living, right? This nigga got caught in, like, five different lies about the date. And she just got caught in a lie about when her first song was. You think she was just performing covers and random shit and gigs and stuff like that for two years? It's, it's definitely possible, but... That's something I would have clarified earlier so it didn't look like you got caught up in a lie. So I'm not gonna lie, like based off of right now, I think he would be the professional. Cause the other three just look suspect as fuck. He did thousand, thousand people in Bedford. Does Bedford even have a thousand people? <laughs> Who's the headline? Headliner was a hip hop group called The Four Owls and supported by another guy called Jam Baxter. He's answering quick as well. You know what it is though? Yes, he is. You could be a f 
an actor. Or an event maker, event organizer who has yeah. skin in the game. Number one seems to be talking so much about events that it's making me think that maybe he just works in events. Like I feel like a singer wouldn't know as much as he knows. We ain't even asked Pavarotti <laughs> nothing. Like, how many shows have you done? Like, how many plays or what? what do you yeah, well, well, pair operatic season <laughs> usually do between seven to eight. Operas. Operas. <laughs> Thank you, sorry. I'm, I'm a bit dumb. No, you're not dumb. It's very spotlight. <laughs> so I've done four operas recently, and each opera was eight performances. I think we've had enough. It's vote time. Okay. I'm going to vote for the uh, Afrobeat eyes because you got your dates mixed up. Go on, Nico. For the same reason, I'm sorry, Mr. Afrobeats. Yeah. <laughs> it's my vote. I'm going to actually vote number five. I think you are Good. a singer, but whether you do it professionally is the question, so I'm going to vote for you. Bella. You know. I've been saying it. <laughs> All right, good. Yeah. So you want number three out? Because he hasn't felt comfortable for the second you came in, so. Yeah, man. I feel big guy needs to go now. Let's burn a boy's little cotton socks. He's following where me and Kenny go. He's clearly a big fan of the Nigerian half of Beta Squad, so I like him. You know what's sad, number three? Three fellow Nigerians voted you out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm voting number five out as well. Your story didn't line up. You've got three songs from the last year, but you've been performing for two years. Really? This is where I've kind of ruined it, because I was going to pick five too. I think Chunks hit the nail on the head. I feel like you do the music, but it's whether it's professionally, I'm yeah, I'm not, I'm not too confident on that. Guys, we're tied up. What do we do? Banner will gets two votes, therefore he is voting for number three, and therefore you are out, brother. All right, thank you for making me laugh. He was vibes, my guy. Udabo. Udabo. You know what that means, huh? He, he ain't got a clue. Of course he don't know. <laughs> Right, it's the next round. Now, guys, dream collabs. I just want to get to them. Agent, I know your whole ass is ashy. Did you highlight your message to say that? I should put you in a pack because that's so fucking random. You're thinking about my the ash on my ass. You should know that every part of my body is fully lotioned, bro. Okay? I'm as moist as they come. To know you guys a bit more. Number one. Loyal Kana. That would just be so cold for me. Some of the old, like, grandma as Kano. I'd love to do, like, a vocal thing for him. That'd be sick. Have a right. My equivalent of collabs performing with was uh, Simon Kinley's side as a famous bard. Yeah, that is very yeah, good. Yeah, he's so good. You might know of this guy. His name's <laughs> Bryn Turfel. He's Welsh. Oh, ho, 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 he's cold. He's cold. He's cold. cold. And then number five. I'd probably say Usher. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah. Starting from you, number one. Could you make a song about everyone on this table. I want to see how quickly you can write and formulate a tune. I mean, I prepared one earlier. Bro, oh, he was on point. He's on point. Go on then. Before I say any of this, I like all you guys. I watch you. Oh, so this? You're cussing us. It's all love, innit? Go on. Nico. You're just a neek though. You got slapped when you stepped off the speedboat. And then it's Sharky. We come to Sharky, the Narky. The man so dead with a nani. Oh, shit, it's Philly, the silly billy. Kenny just can't box. And Burner Boy, thanks for being on time, mate. Had us waiting round, mate. So much time and nearly ran out of rhymes, mate. <laughs> Nah, don't even say UK rap. Don't, don't, don't put UK rap in that shit box. That nigga just sucked, bro. Everything that come out of his mouth sucks. That was like, what was that? It wasn't battle rap. It was like a diss track. Nigga said Dr. Seuss. <laughs> nigga like Dr. Seuss ass bars, bro. <laughs> I got Batman waiting for him outside, you know? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's not really good. He's not gonna go home the same. Yeah, I mean, you can't violate the Bayer squad like that. But Chunks, then I come to you, you're a bit of a sellout. He's fresh out of luck with the titties on his chest out. Yeah, Ooh. mentals. If you think you're staying here now. <laughs> Number one thinks he's funny. I didn't like it from the start. He's coming with these little dry bars. Uh, Philly, silly Billy. Shush. You're meaty. Didn't mind the little diss track until you got to my brother Chunks. That's a tough shame. Allow him, my brother. Just know I'm gonna buck you outside, I'm gonna sweep your legs and send you home. Love though. This is Guess the Singer, and you've just exposed yourself as a rapper. You want me to run it back and sing it? I don't wanna, I don't wanna get violated again. Oh my gosh, number one is not a professional singer, he's a professional rapper. And he's swindling us this whole time because he can do a little bit of vocals. I don't know how we didn't see this earlier. Number two, could you quickly formulate a song? I could do my very best. You guys are the most fantastic guys on YouTube. I just want to thank you all for being here. Hey, you know what? I'm not much of a freestyler, but play a beat and the melodies. Yeah, Philly in the do rag. He's sitting, looking real nice, a sharky with the with the apple on his head. 
I don't know why, Bernard, with a nice line up always, yeah. Chunks, ayy, in the suave, in the suave, yeah. Now she me so just here for vibes and making jokes, yeah. Oh, I can't she just lie. Oh, I actually right forgot you. your name. She's got to go. Kenny. She violated a member. She's going, she's going, she's going. She's going Kenny. For the name. She didn't even know my name. You know what? At this point, there is no chance. There is no way in hell I'm going to keep her. Man, why does she violate Keith like that, man? That's my favourite beta squad member, man. So I'm doing that girl, man. I'm Australian, like beta squad, I watch, but it's not consistent, you know what I'm We doing? just went there for four months, girl. She got the email, she said, yo, run yes. me the bread. I'm here, might as well. But his name is Kenny. Kenny. Nah, it's too late on here. Nah, it's too late for that. She tried to go. All right, so you now, what's your plans like? I'd like to build a team around me. I think like it would alleviate a lot of stress, but for now, I'm all about getting my bread up. What's your plan? Every opera singer's goal is to perform in the biggest places alongside the best singers. But for me, it's just also bringing classical music to mainstream, because it's not. I'll be honest, I just want to get to the finalists, man. It's time for the voting. Philly? Oh, I'm going to go right. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to say one. number two. <gasps> what? Oh, two. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Your voice is so amazing. That Wait, anything you said, I, I just didn't care at first. But the more I listen to you, no. it just sounds too, like, scripty. Mm. So, yeah, number yeah, two. Of course. I still think it's number five. She serenaded you, Sharky. Yeah, but clearly not enough, so I'm phoning her out. Number five was sold to Freestyle. And she looked at me and she said, he's got a lap on his hat. And I don't know why. Surely if you've got music, ability, you can come up with something better than that. All right, better. <laughs> Go go with the beautiful number five. Oh, he started off from the start of saying this. I, I did. The reason why number five had to go, I don't like the way she spoke to Kyle, man. She violated. She, she got it, man. It's over. I'm, I'm not gonna change my vote from last the round. It was number five, even though I disliked number one's uh, freestyle. But I'm gonna vote for number five. I'm sorry, sorry. Hey, number five. <laughs> I'ma vote for you. Bye bye. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Can There's still vote? someone left. Obviously, he's gonna vote me. Yeah, you don't know my name, so you're out. Thank you so much. I don't even care at this point if you're the singer or not. I just so want you out. So the nigga's man. probably gonna win. Absolute violation. At this point, it's only one way to find out who the real musician is. Single. So it's the final round. I need you guys to perform back to she back. Was good. Start from number one. She All right. Was high. I'm gonna kick it with some garage. What? Hang on. I did not say rap. I'm singing. I'm singing. I saw the look on her face. Last she wanna come over. One hand slips to her waist. She's gonna ride and I'm the chauffeur. Back seat of the Rover. I'm gonna take her from the bed onto the sofa. I fucking hate this nigga. I just chat. I don't know why. I'm not a hateful nigga, bro. But I don't like this nigga, bro. I really don't, bro. I think he sucks. Jeez Louise. I just, just, I don't even want to. Pourquoi ma réveille? His face. The man turned down the volume. <laughs> 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 I turn it on, he's gonna turn it, he's gonna turn it up, let's turn it up. Requam a reveille. Number two genuinely has talent here, okay? It's time to be serious. You he might even be better than Barnabas. You know, last, that. last, the song. <laughs> nah, no, nah, no, nah. <laughs> Can you both try and perform each other's style? Why is this guy always f***ing up everything? <laughs> I feel like what makes the best singers is versatility. So, <laughs> it's, it's time to switch it up. Yeah. This nickel guy is ruining everything, bro. How you gonna, how you wanna flip? You wanna make this guy sing this guy and this guy? Can't win, man. So we'll start with you, number two. If you can perform the hip hop singing. Yo, can I just some Lewis Crowley? That's probably. Yeah, go on, go on. Yeah. When the number two's was a good performance. You guys wouldn't know that because uh, it's copyrighted. So uh, yeah, you had one word, but yeah, I'm telling you right now, decent performance. Not really hip hop, but good. Bro, rapping the lyrics to a song with your own voice is copyrighted. Does the music industry have a fucking stronghold on the English language? What kind of abuse of, but that is so ass. Now, number one, can we, can we hear some opera, please? Oh, yeah, opera. <laughs> I, I see how he's moving ahead as well. Get an extra.
catch the reverb in there. How else do the motherfuckers make money? By making good music? Are you slow? So if I have a catch, like let's say, let's say there's something I like to say a lot on stream. I could just decide that if any one of you niggas say it, I get the money you would have made by saying it. What the fuck? That's insane. That is insane. That's not that's not a trademark. That's not even I, that shouldn't be copyright. Music industry is just bullies, bro. Honestly, dead ass. They just bullies, dog. And they will bully YouTube and the Twitches and to get exactly what they want. Otherwise, they'll sue you to the ground like they've done many websites in the past. They're just bullies. That shit is ass. That shit is ass. We do not celebrate that abuse of copyright. Bro, if I sit here and rap, sing a song, there's no music playing in the background. I'm just singing a song. That's, bro, that's insane to me. That's insane. You are not bad. I don't know much about opera singing, but with a bit of training and conditioning, it, I think he could be half decent. You know, file a trademark for the word Riz. That's not a trademark. You would have to file a copyright for that. Good luck, though, brother. Kai could have definitely done that, maybe, potentially. But then if a nigga said Riz, he can't copyright you for that. The only thing he can do is if you start a business with the word Riz in it, he might be able to challenge you in court. That's different than you saying a word and being in legal trouble. That's kind of nuts. Is that how easy it is to sing opera on the first try? Let me give this a try. <clears throat> Yeah! Oh my gosh, that was crazy! <laughs> yeah! Number two, do you see potential there? Everyone has potential, in my opinion, but yeah, absolutely, he can sing. First of all, everyone doesn't have potential. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start from band away this time. Oh, the professional singer. <laughs> she is a roti. Chucky. Look at him, just look at him. The way he's standing, he's confident. Oh, well, number one, you know, number one, the way he's speaking, answering every question, he you everything. He's like, I booked this, I do that. Professional, he's a professional rapper. Exactly, he's a professional rapper though, so he can't even win. So I'm gonna take the chance, I'm gonna say number one, I think you are the professional. AJ? I'll be honest, I don't know Why? who to pick. I feel like it's neither of you. But I feel like it was number four, so I'm just gonna pick number one. So there's two votes on number one. I'm gonna vote for number one. I think number one is the professional singer. After you sung to me the way which you sung to me, there's never a, a way in a million years I'm not thinking that you're your professional. <laughs> so I believe that it's you. Thanks, mate. Yeah, number two. I think it's you as well. Oh, so we're tied up. Again? Oh my gosh. You know who the decision comes down to, innit? What, me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a meme. I said, what, me? That was cold. But, but there's not much on the line, just 1,000 pounds, which we will lose if you get it wrong for us. He's wearing a, a million diamonds. <laughs> 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 Are you taking it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I stick to Pavarotti. Right. So Bernard is sticking with number two, and as he is the professional singer, his vote counts as two. So we voted for number two. Yeah. Will the real professional singer please step forward? Oh, this is the worst I, I, part. I think they got it right, actually. I didn't vote for number one, not Yo. once. Yeah, why did they take her out? I don't get it. I think it was me and Kenny that actually didn't vote for her, so me and Kenny won. The rest are losers. Minus Banner Boy, because he came and helped us out with the video, so appreciate that, Banner. Hey, so Pavarotti, why the f are you learning? Why do you learn to do this? Are you a teacher? No, no, I just have lessons on the side. Why do you know so much? I study, bro. What do you do for a normal job? Usually part time modeling and bartending. <laughs> <laughs> We took her out first, so you're telling me the whole rest of the video will do it for no reason. Can you tell us your story, please? I grew up doing musical theatre, and then I went to the Brit School, it's a performing arts school in South London. I work a lot with dance producers and DJs, and I've also got my own music, which is more pop and R&B, and I also am a singer-songwriter, so I do songwriting as well. Have you wrote for anyone before, like we know? I've worked with Nathan Dorr, Goddard. Oh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Number one. All right, I'm a digital marketing manager. You do events? Fuck? I do events, Wait, yeah, yeah. So he's an event organiser. That was a complete shot in the dark. And we hit number three. I can't wait to hear what you've got to say. Everything I told you is pretty much true. Afrobeats artist. On the come up. Yeah, man, hopefully. Five. I'm a receptionist at a dental surgery, but I am what still an off. upcoming artist <laughs> in modern. <laughs> at number six, let's hear your story, please. Why are we laughing already? I sell ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. I, know, I bet you do sell ice cream. Devil, devil. <laughs> Number two, you have won oh, yeah, the thousand pounds. Oh, yeah, nice. Cheers, nice, nice, nice. Well done, brother. Mate, thanks. Well, this guy, fam. All right, well, oh, there you have what? it. We lost. Bam, any last words? This is a good one. This is a hard one. the trailer. One. Woo! This is a hard one, bro. Oh, my God. Here we go. I say Royal Rumble right now. I say <laughs> <laughs>
Doble Gidani. Cannot wait to see it myself, man. I cannot wait to see it myself, bro.